Hello everyone, Yellow Mustang here today with another Roblox scripting tutorial. Today we're going to be going over Region 3 and how to use it. First we need to ask, what is Region 3? Region 3 itself is just a section of the workspace in a rectangular shape. It is created from two Vector 3 values, Vector 3 min and Vector 3 max, that are at opposing corners of the region. These Vector 3 values determine the size and the position of the region. We can then utilize the selection to find parts inside of it, or even generate terrain. In the workspace, I have a scenario set up with two parts called point 1 and point 2, which we will use to define our region 3. Point 1 will be representing vector 3 min, and point 2 will be representing vector 3 max. Each position axis of point 1 must be less than point 2, or the region will not generate correctly. In the script, we'll go ahead and create variables for point 1 and point 2. We will then declare our region using the positions of the two parts. We will now create a table for the parts we want to ignore. If you wanted, we could also include models in the table, but we'll just be using parts for today. We will then create a while loop to check for parts within our region every second. We then need to decide which find parts in region 3 function we want to use. The workspace has three functions we can call to use our region. Find parts in region 3, find parts in region 3 with ignore list, and find parts in region 3 with white list. The arguments for these functions are pretty much the same except for the second one. In find parts in region 3, the second argument expects a single base part or model instance that will be ignored. In find parts in region 3 with ignore list, the second argument expects a table of base part or model instances. Anything in that table will be ignored. In find parts in region 3 with white list, the second argument expects a table of base part or model instances that will be searched for specifically. Anything not in that list will be ignored. Today we will be utilizing find parts in region 3 with ignore list. We will input our region, our ignore list, and then math.huge to have no limit of parts returned. The function then returns a table of parts we can now loop through using a for loop. We will then just print the name of each part in the region. Now you can see, if a part enters the region in the output, the name will be printed. If you have a hard time understanding where the bounds of your region are, or you need to troubleshoot, it can be useful to visualize the region. To do this, we can visualize region 3.cframe and region 3.size to create a part in the workspace that represents our region. It is important to note that region cframe and size are read-only values. You can't adjust your region with these values. We will also add it to our ignore list so it doesn't interfere with our print statements. Now, in the workspace, we have a part that shows us the exact bounds of our region. We can easily use Region 3 to create a simple King of the Hill style game. I have a scenario set up with a basic hill and two points for the region, same as before. We have a point 1 and a point 2 again for our Vector 3 min and our Vector 3 max positions. We begin first by creating a leaderboard script. We then create another script to handle the region. We start out with references to our points, then set them to be invisible. After that, I create the region using the two points. I then create a part that will visualize the region for us when the players are on the hill. We then set up our ignore list table and our player inbounds table. We will also create a reference to the tween service. Next we create a check for new players function which will handle the player entering the region. It will ensure only to add the player to the table once and only add the player if their health is above zero. After that, we create the remove old players function, which will check for players that have left the hill or have died while on the hill.
We then create a simple add points function that gives points if there's one player controlling the hill. Next we create the region visual effect function that will give the hill a force field like effect based on the status of the hill. To keep the game running, we'll utilize a while loop. Finally, we utilize the workspace find parts in region 3 with ignore list function to return all parts within our region. We then finish the script off by adding our functions inside the while loop. Now let's see what this looks like in game. You can see when player 1 enters the region, the hill pulse is green, indicating that the player is gaining points. However, once player 2 enters the region, it pulses red, and no players gain points because the hill is contested. Player 1 then leaves the hill, and now player 2 gains points. Player 1 then enters the hill and kills player 2, and then player 1 regains control of the region. And that concludes my region 3 tutorial. I tried making a higher quality video this time for region 3. This format however takes a very long time to create, and I must have dumped over 5 hours into this video. If you guys enjoyed this clean, organized video format, please like the video and I'll continue in this format. I'll see you guys next time. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this.